cooking show. I'm Rose Lee. I'm the producer and host of this Veggie Planet cooking show. And in this cooking series, we'll be cooking with all whole food, plant-based ingredients. Many studies have shown that uh, uh, a diet based on whole grains, fruits and vegetables, legumes, nuts and seeds, and healthy oils can reduce the risk of many diseases. Uh, so we like to help promote this uh, healthy eating habit. Hope to inspire many people and the public to eat well and stay healthy. And uh, today we uh, have a very special guest, Emily Xiao, here to show us a few delicious vegetarian dishes. So, uh, Emily, would you tell us uh, how did you start a vegetarian? Hi, Hi. everyone. Uh, my name is Emily. Um, I have been a vegetarian for almost 20 years. Um, 20 years sounds a long time. However, to me, it's very easy. Um, in the beginning, it's actually um, not easy to, to find the food to eat. Yeah. Um, however, after you figure out which kind of food is better for you, you go to the pattern. Um, so, and I myself actually is a nurse. Oh. I'm working at the Brigham Women Hospital um, as an OR nurse. Um, I see many uh, colorectal disease, which is uh, gastric disease or any or some colon disease, um, was causing by uh, inappropriate eating habit. Mm -hmm. So, um, as a vegetarianism, I really like to promote the vegetarianism, especially for the whole food um, and the whole gland diet. And it was my, it, it's really my pleasure to, um, to be in here and to share um, those two, di those two uh, dishes with you. Um, one is very traditional um, pearl bowl dishes, which in, um, regularly um, we show this dish in our traditional, like a um, Chinese New Year or special occasion. Very occasion, yeah. a special occasion. And the other dish is a very fusion dish. Oh, okay. Yes. Great. So um, now we can start doing Okay, this. yeah, let's start. So first dish, you're going to make the pearl balls? Yeah, pearl balls. Okay, great. Let's so, do it. Okay, so we can see the ingredient here. Today, I'm using um, the impossible meat, which is really look like a meat-like. Impossible and meat. I think they in, call that... Uh, what right. do you call that? Uh, or something, I forgot. Not even bother. Uh. <laughs> it's a good meal question. Yeah, okay. And then second of all, um, and the second ingredient, tofu, especially firm tofu, is very important in this ingredient. You need to bring it, yeah, bring it. Yeah, let's put it back. here. Okay. So firm tofu and the impossible burger. Okay, this burger is all made with a plant-based ingredient. Right. Basically, it's made with pea proteins and some soy protein. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a very, very, it's all protein actually, high protein. Right, and also this is the uh, short grain, the wrong grain, the short grain uh, sweet rice. Short grain sweet rice. Okay, this is a special rice. It's called a sweet rice. Actually, it doesn't taste sweet. The reason it's called a sweet because uh, in China, traditionally, we use the short grain, uh, sticky rice, high gluten rice to make a, a lot of dessert stuff, sweet stuff. In time, they call it sweet rice. Okay, basically, it's high glutinous rice, very sticky right. and uh, resilient. Very, very good. Not for everyday cooking fried rice, but uh, for special dishes because it has a sticky com uh, consistency, it can bind the ingredient together very easily. Mm -hmm. And also dry mushroom. Okay, this is a Chinese dried shiitake mushroom. shiitake mushroom. And we have to soak this in water. Yeah. Okay. We yeah. can show uh, yeah. our audience okay. yeah. the soak. This is a soak. Okay, they expand so, and... Uh, right, as you can see, it's already soaked and absorb all the waters together mm -hmm. so it's easy for us to cut it and to, to absorb the flavor and so and this 
and some uh, um, vegetables. Vegetables. Colorful. Very right, good. Very colorful vegetable, which you can. I actually this time I actually use uh, the frozen one. Um, like you can see carrots and peas and also um, um, just by ready packaged mixed mixed uh, mixed vegetables. vegetables yeah okay so now we can start the cooking okay great all right so we take out the um, firm tofu and what do you do with the rice do you have to soak it yeah that's so uh, the first the first step we soak the rice we wash rice three times and we soak it in the warm water or we soak it in the cold water for 30 minutes. Okay, so you have, uh, this is from one cup of uh, glutinous, glutinous rice, very, very sweet, snow white, red, mm -hmm. uh, white. Yeah. Soak in water for about 30 minutes? Yeah, for mm -hmm. about 30 minutes, Good. just like this, because we did that earlier. And uh, Rose, can you please cut this for me? Let me find a large bowl. In the meanwhile, okay. So for all the ingredients that we are using, we can make fifteen. You need gloves. The, yeah, I need the gloves. So for all the ingredients that we are we are make, uh, we are doing today, uh, you can make uh, fifteen of the uh, pearl ball. Let's put it here first and try to stir it. Right now, at this point, so we save it, we can put it in the freezer. Yeah. Thank you. And also, we are preparing a cheesecloth. So, this is the cheesecloth. So, when we open this, we open the fern tofu, organic fern tofu, which I pre made a little bit because it takes a little bit time to. Um, to dry it, and because of the to like the tofu, as we know that you, is a lot of a uh, uh, liquid and water. Uh, so you squeeze it. You squeeze, squeeze it. it until it's very very dry. Yeah, squeeze until all the liquid. Yeah. If you don't have enough strength to do it, actually, I call my son um, to help me. Right. He's strong. <laughs> And he can do something too. Good idea. All right. So soak like this. Um, so now it dry like this. Now, let me show you. Yeah. Let's show them. Yeah. Yeah. Can dump it. See, so it all becomes pieces now. And then crumbled we crumbled up. Them. Yeah, oh. crumbled up. Yep. Okay. So we'll wash this later. Mm -hmm. Later. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, in the meanwhile, you can see I put the Impossible Burger um, in there and mix with the tofu together. Okay. Do you add some seasonings? Yes, we'll okay. do that in the... Afterwards? Yeah, later. very okay. late. And then put all the frozen uh, vegetables. vegetables in. However, doing this, you have to cut it in the small pieces because okay. you don't want to eat like it. The whole vegetable is that would be too rough. Okay. So you put everything together. Can you mix it for me, Rose? Sure. Thank you. Okay. So as you can see now, I soak the dry mushroom. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need to this so after we soak the mushroom, see it's become very soft. All right. So we can cut it. This is shiitake mushroom, dry Chinese dry shiitake mushroom. It's very special. It has a more meatier flavor it than regular good. fresh shiitake mushroom. So I would suggest we use a Chinese dried shiitake mushroom. Mm -hmm. So later on when you uh, eat it, it has a give you more bite, chew, right. chew. So this is one of the shiitake mushroom. Mm -hmm. And with this pearl, um, pearl bowl, I used three shiitake mushroom, which we did that earlier already. Okay, so this is how we cut it. 
Uh-huh. And now I'm gonna cook it. Okay. I'm gonna use some oil to pan fry it. Oh, okay. Just a little bit, probably like three minutes, okay? To bring out more flavor. Yes, okay. to bring more flavor. Okay, and we wait until the pot getting hotter. And I pour some um This is uh grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil is a high good, heat oil. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Can tolerate high heat. Good for stir frying. Good for stir frying, that's right. So let me put some. Let me put three of the shiitake mushroom, which we just cut it earlier, and stir fry a little bit, about three minutes. Mm -hmm. When you can smell the flavor, that's me. It's done. Okay. Because you don't want it to. You don't want to overcook. Okay. And now I'm using the sea. The, uh, the some salt. Some salt. About two pinches. Okay. Salt to taste. Okay. And then meanwhile, the shiitake mushroom can absorb the salt, so right. it yeah. tastes better. Mm -hmm. We found that uh, when you cook each ingredient, you season as you cook each ingredient, it brings out more flavor. Right. The whole dish become more taste tasteful, taste flavorful. Okay. About for three minutes. Okay. Yeah. Now we can smell a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when this is cooked done, we add into here? Yes. Okay. Smells good. Do you want mm. to smell that? Good, good. Do you smell that? Mmm, oh wow. It has an earthy flavor. Smells okay. so good. Okay, so let's turn off this one. Seasonings? Yeah, let's put some. Oh, yeah, good. Um, today, uh, do we have a measurement? Can we have some? Mm -hmm. What kind? Of teaspoon? Uh, the table? teaspoon. The tablespoon, please. I put two tablespoon of cornstarch. Well, this is not cornstarch. This is not cornstarch. You can use cornstarch yeah. or. This is a lotus root, lotus root flower starch. Right. Okay. Can you uh, can you mix it again? Okay. Sure. And now I'm giving a little bit more more taste. Oh, of salt. The salt. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Let me put two pinch of the salt. Mm. Yeah. One and two. Okay. Uh, maybe it's about because tofu is very bland. I think we uh, add need uh, you know. Uh, Salt to flavor it. And I also, think it's about half teaspoon. Yeah, and also in the Chinese dishes, um, you can't forget uh, adding some more soy, soy sauce. Soy sauce. Oh, that we need that. It gives us such a good flavor. Yeah, about one teaspoon. Okay. That's oh, this is tablespoon. I'm sorry, one teaspoon. That's okay. Okay. Oh, so, it looks so great. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, so can we, let's wash this because we're going to mm -hmm. use this later. Okay. So at this point, because I'm wearing gloves now, mm -hmm. Good. so I'm going to mix it together. Remember I just put some uh, corn starch, lotus seed starch, and now I want to bring those flavors together and I want to make it thicker. The lotus root flower also as a uh, 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 binder can hold this mixture together so they don't fall apart. Right, can hold the ingredient together. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as you can see, it's like, you know, they can hold it together. However, I usually keep it for five minutes. I usually oh, okay. have them um, stick together for another five minutes to mm -hmm. absorb their flavor right. um, together, so let's do it. Yeah. 
So okay. we make sure that we make sure the um, ingredient or, or was the flavor will melt and they will stick together. Yes. So now we're gonna drain the so while sticky we're rice. Waiting, we can uh, drain the sticky rice. Yeah, take care of the rice. Yeah, this works this way. Oh, okay. Make sure we'll join well. Yeah, we need to join well. Yeah, remember to join well, mm -hmm. Emily says. Because <laughs> we don't want those why, water to Why we have to join so well? Because if we don't join well, mm -hmm. the water will interfere with the texture. Oh, so you don't okay. want too much water in texture inside because you want to make it like a meeple like. Oh, okay. Yes. Good. All right, can I have a plate? For what? A plate. Um, okay. <laughs> it looks like a very difficult. Actually, if you follow our instruction, it's going to be very easy. And this can be like a kind of like a parenting and family time together, especially during the summertime. When your kids home, they need some art and craft project. And this can be one of the art and craft projects because, you know, when they make their own food, they would love to eat it. Yes. So let me do it here. Let me put, put some um, rice here. As you can see, we want to make it the rice very dry. Um, it won't interfere mm -hmm. with, the, with the mixture. Yeah, with the mixture. Okay. So can I have the tablespoon again? Oh, okay. Okay. So my you friend want usually, this kind or? yeah, this kind is good. Or if you, if you have a tablespoon, you use the tablespoon. Or if you have any spoon, you can use it just for your measurement. Because my friend always asks me, why do you make everything exactly the same size? size? <laughs> and I say, whatever you feels like, you can use even ice cream scoop to make it as the same size. So I usually use the tablespoon. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say one or two tablespoons. Oh, okay. You want to try it? You want to um, wear cloth and try it. So when you do one take two tablespoons, it's like a, this size, which is perfectly for two bites. And it's not too big for kids, but it's just easy and fun for them to play together. And uh, you want to squeeze it firmly? Squeeze it. Okay. Yes, you want to push, you want to press the air out. Because okay. you don't want to, um, you want to be firm, and in that way, it's easy for that for all the ingredients stick together. Yeah. Okay. So now, I'm using the rice on the top. Some people would just just layer like this. Um, however, I've been making, I have made made more than thousand of this kind of bowl. Wow. So in my experience, my past experience, the reason that I press the rice mm -hmm. on the top of it oh. is because when you press on the top, mm -hmm. you make it more firm. You make it firm yes. and make it text, taste better. Okay, and okay. make sure they stick into the air. Uh, right, make sure they stick Protein into balls. Right, right, exactly. And now, are we um, gonna put it here or not yet? Yes, we're gonna put it here. Okay. So I there is one step that I forgot to tell you guys. So this is the green pea that we took it out earlier, right? Yeah. Remember we took out the green pea earlier? Yeah. Um you cannot you, you don't have to do it, but the reason I, I do it every time when I find out um, after steaming, it becomes more colorful. Yes, decoration. And it's a decoration. It's just the decoration. Okay. So, um, okay, let's put it on top of it. See how easy this can be, and how this can be as an uh, art and craft project for right. kids. And uh, we're going to steam this, not deep yes. fried or no. uh, saute. Okay, so a steamer like this is ideal. Or you can use uh, any steamer you have at home. But uh, I think Emily used a paper, parchment paper, to hold it. Yeah. So they can only serve it, it's uh, easier to eat. Right. And also for the kids' project too, because I have, I have kids. Mm -hmm. So I know how difficult that can be uh, during the summertime, especially, you know, mm -hmm. if they don't go to summer camp, if they come home, they're not exhausted enough. 
So you can do some project for them. And um, make a project for them. And very good for snack. Right. Okay, let's try this. That's a very nutritious uh, dish, I think. It, that, it's all this whole protein. It's all protein. The tofu is a protein. And uh, I think it's called Beyond Meat. You can get that, uh, the, the burger meat, Beyond Meat, from the, any uh, major supermarket. Right. Uh, Beyond and that's protein. Meat, right. Beyond yeah. Meat or uh, Impossible Burger. Uh, oh. That's the most <laughs> popular uh, brand right mm -hmm. now at this point. But I know Whole Foods or any other local store, you can find other brand, other option. Um, so, see, it's, it's so easy to make a two right. bowl already. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna make a and uh, the, the Beyond Meat, this brand, it's really all plant-based. There is mm -hmm. no egg, white, or anything in that. It's all plant. Mm -hmm. So in this program, we use all plant-based uh, ingredients. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I Google, one time my son was doing a project because he, he was born as vegetarian. I, um, I have been a vegetarian for 20 years, so of course he was born as vegetarian. Vegetarian um, baby, huh? Right, he was. Um, so anyway, he's still a vegetarian. He's 16 years old. Mm -hmm. And one time he was doing a project mm -hmm. and saying, um, why are we become a vegetarianism? Yeah. And how could the vegetarianism save the world? Oh, save the save yes. the earth. Yeah. So um, he was Google it, and we find out that fifteen vegetarian diet can save a tree. Oh, yes. That's um, if you Google that, you can find out there are so ama so many amazing article, amazing ac academic result that come out that um, even though you are not a, a religion person, that you try you're still trying to do something for. Our planet. Oh, this is, it doesn't have to be religious. It's just a uh, right. vegetarian diet, plant based diet. It, you know, you're not, you can get all kind of protein, fiber, and carbohydrate, vitamins, and uh, antioxidants. It's all in the plant based uh, ingredients. That's right. Especially good plant based because okay. it's high fiber. Right. Help with digestion. Yeah. And actually, the vegetarian food, uh, you don't have to eat a lot, and uh, they make you full faster. It's because of more, the fiber fill you up fast. Mm -hmm. So you can see, we already mixed four of it. <laughs> right. It's so easy. Right, yeah. And All you have uh, to do is just put those ingredients together and press it. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want to move your camera closer, you can see how colorful this uh, plant-based diet can be. I think you have a close shot up. Okay, great. Right. And after the steam, it can come out very clear, like a crystal. Okay, and I'm going to get the water going. Yeah, sure, thank you. Yes, so now uh, Rose, please turn on the, yeah, mm -hmm. the water, okay, so we make six of it. Beautiful. The reason it's called a pearl box is because all these, uh, the, the rice pieces is round and the snow white look like pearl, uh, pieces of pearls. Okay, it's not, got nothing to do with pearl, but the name uh, symbolize the beautiful pearl, beautiful pearls. So we call it pearl balls. Very uh, popular Chinese dish. Okay. Are we done? Oh, okay. Yeah, we done. So pieces. yeah, today we we'll just make a six pieces to show you how to do it, but and we're gonna steam it. Right, but with the whole ingredient, you can actually make fifteen of it. Fifteen pieces. Fifteen. Okay. Yes. That's good. So this is amazing. Okay, so let's put it on the side. Okay, and uh, it looks beautiful, right? Okay, you okay, can we cover it. We're gonna steam it before we steam it. It looks like this. Okay, good. I think so, it's going to be easier, we'll go ahead and get water boil, so mm -hmm. we can 
time it. How long we're gonna steam it? Right. It's so, only steam for 10 to 12 minutes. If you want to steam for 15 minutes, which is okay. Um, but I don't suggest. I do not suggest that you steam over, because if you hold overheat, then uh, the pearl ball is gonna absorb the too whole much too much water. So it's gonna uh, affect the the texture. Again. Yeah. Right. Okay, so let's put it on the steamer and then we're gonna move on our second dish. Okay, the next dish. The next dish, yes. So the next dish here, let me move it closer and I can introduce you our second dish. This is our second dish. The ingredient for your second dish. What what's the second dish you're going to make? Okay, my second dish is very oriental name. The name is very oriental. Um, that it's actually a very fusion food. Um, as you can see, we have five ingredients. So I like to call five element salad. Okay. And um, because I don't myself, I don't like to eat. Um, cold salad, mm -hmm. uh, no matter it's cold winter or it's in a warm summer, I like the texture of the little bit warm. So I make it as warm salad. Okay. So we have five ingredients mm -hmm. and avocado, and this is purple yam, and also we have kale, and also red pepper, and quinoa. So we have one color, one, two, three, four, five. Five yes. colors. Five yeah. colors. So five yeah. elements. Five yeah. elements. Okay. So what now, the five elements? We present a fire, earth, uh -huh. metal, uh, wood. Yes. That's five. Yes. Five <laughs> elements. Right. Um, it's so easy to Google it. So mm -hmm. I'm not a very Chinese Oriental type personality. Uh, the reason I'm doing this because um, yeah, it's I colorful, think it's colorful yeah, and, and very uh, interesting. Got variety of um, vitamins and minerals. Right, it's a great right. salad. Okay. okay, so and they are all uh, superfood. As mm -hmm. people now like um, quinoa, and I have, have to cook it. Yes, we do have to cook it. So this is about three quarter. Uh, it, it's about three quarter size of the quinoa. Three quarter cup. Three quarter cup okay. of size of quinoa. So after you wash it, um, oh okay, this you have already some already cooked. I already I have some already cooked. How much water? I you cook it. I put one cup of the water. One I cup. Put water. A little bit more of the water okay. to cook it. So after just I just follow the instruction from the right. package. Yes. So after I cook it, I put some um, kind of again. I put some grapeseed oil again mm -hmm. because I want to make it as more mm -hmm. like um, shining right. for the mouth feel. Okay. Right for the mouth feel. That's right. So this is all cooked already, and let's take care of the kale. Kale. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have to wash it. Yeah. And we already washed it already earlier. So um, can you take care of the kale okay, for me? Okay. Sure. I will take off the uh, stem. Because mm -hmm. uh, the uh, yeah. stem is really rough. Stem kind of rough, mm -hmm. yeah. So if easily get a knife or use your hand and uh, break it up. Oop. For the cooking part, um, I like the cooking part because um, you don't have to be exactly like how much the kale you need. Um, I just go by the feeling. Okay. Good. Like I like more green today, mm -hmm. so I put probably five leaves of the kale, and when you cut it, be careful. Okay. Okay. Again, let's pour some grapeseed oil and our water has to be Oh, boiled. water come to the boil? Yes. Okay. You know what? 
to be a little bit softened and in that case it's easier um, for our elderly family to chew and also for our little kids um, think, to eat yeah. because a lot of kids they don't they don't they actually don't like greens um, but if we make it easier for them um, it's, it's a better chance for them to eat right <laughs> right soften and yeah, it's softened. easier to chew so again, I'm putting some, salt. a pinch of the salt. So in the meanwhile, we can take out the skin of the uh, purple yam, purple yam, and after you take out the skin, you cut it like a um, cube. Huh? Cube, yeah, one cube. Can we show them? This, this is earlier that we do. Mm -hmm. Can I have a little spoon? Can I have a spoon, please? Yeah. So like this size. Yeah, so this is from the, the sweet potato. The sweet sweet yam. Yeah. Um, I like to be purple. I like the purple yam because it looks better and it looks colorful. So I put it in 400 degree and you bake. Oh, you, you roast or bake it? Uh, okay. You roast it, you bake it, mm -hmm. you roast it for um, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, before I roast it, of course I put some oil. Get, um, Grapeseed oil oh. to um, just stir a little bit and okay. put it roasted. Mm -hmm. 400 degree, 15 minutes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So while we're talk while we were talking, the kale are already ready. Yeah, I can see the color brightens a little bit already. That's right. So yeah, that means uh, it's pretty good. It's uh, pretty much done. Yeah. You can, I love you know, it. If you like the, some people like to cook it longer. That's fine mm -hmm. too. Do you like kale? I love the kale. Mm. <laughs> That's why you're so healthy. Ah. Yeah, it's good for you. Okay, good. You done with this? Yeah, I'm done with that. Okay. So let me take this out. Uh, okay. Okay. Are we going to add here? Uh, yeah. yeah, we can add it more. Emily made us some ahead of time already. Mm -hmm. You want to put more here? Yeah, okay, sure. Great. Let's put more here. Mm -hmm. And you can do a little bit of adjustment because I know you are really good at decoration of food. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. That's all your specialty. Mm -hmm. More is better. Yeah, we love kale. Mm -hmm. That's okay. why we decided to make more. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you. Okay, done. Okay, Thanks. Thank you. And now, let's brush the uh, red paper. You want to cut? Yeah, sure. Do you have a knife? Or yeah, I have a knife. Again, we cut the red paper. We got the paper for. I take out the white part because that can interfere with how um, the taste. Yeah, and we cut the red paper into cubes about the same size as the purple yam. Mm -hmm. Are you going to stir fry that too? Yeah. Okay. Just for one minute. Because you don't want to overcook. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to overcook. Yeah. So just like a one minute. Mm -hmm. Especially 
during the COVID era. Yeah. Um, sometimes you don't know what kind of food you're eating, or you don't know how people um, prepare the food. So um, that's why I do this warm salad because I want everything to be cooked before um, my family eat it or before you know. Because oh. when you cook, you actually already heating the food. Uh -huh. You heat the uh, vegetables. Yeah. It's much safer for you. Yeah. Oh, okay. For your health. Oh. Yeah. Did you add salt yet? Uh, no, because oh, we're okay. gonna use some salad dressing in the in the end. Oh, you don't need salt. Okay. Yeah, we don't need salt. Right. If you are re if you taste this really uh, light, you don't need salt. Mm -hmm. So okay. So Rose, can you please help me? And you do a little bit of fish move, okay. please, for me. Okay, let's turn it off. One, two, three. Oh, one more color. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're really actually counting. Yeah, we said five elements. Okay. Five color. Five color. Mm -hmm. And now... So the next is a green color, or avocado, kind of white. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I love avocado too. Oh, I love it. Yes. It's a natural oil. 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 Yeah, healthy oil. Healthy oil. Do you want me to scoop it off? Yeah. This is really like our family dish. Yes, yeah, it's good to uh, family work together. Emily and I work together a lot. We love cooking. Emily's a very experienced vegetarian cook. Oh no, I um, I I, I just like to eat. <laughs> I like to eat my own You're food. You're a good cook. Okay, for the avocado, so let's put the make avocado sure the most uh, nutritious part actually is near the skin. Okay, the green part, the green part, oh. make sure you scoop out the green part. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I never know that. Don't use it. Yeah, a lot of people yeah. waste it, just scoop it and throw it away. Oh. I always scoop it clean, scoop it clean. Okay. Oh, okay, so the nutritional part is it most oh. it on the green. Oh, I never know that. Near the Thank skin. Thank you. Yes. Now, let's put yeah, some quinoa in the middle. Quinoa in the middle. And see how healthy this dish is. We got lots of fiber and all different colors of vegetables. You get the all kind of nutritious anti antioxidants, vitamin C stuff. And uh, the quinoa will be your, your starch, your carbohydrates, and also fiber and uh, Protein too. This is such a healthy dish. And uh, sweet yams. It's also good uh, uh, vitamin C and uh, starch. So you're not going to go hungry when you serve this dish. Let's take this away. I think we can serve a little bit higher for the quinoa. A little bit more for quinoa. Oh my god, are you hungry now? Yes, I'm very hungry. <laughs> I love quinoa. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can see. And then, let's put our um, sauce together. Oh, the dressing? The dressing, yes. Okay. Salad dressing. Yeah. yeah, if you like it, you can eat it as is. But uh, Emily suggests we serve with the dressing. There are two dressings that our family usually use. Um, one is honey Dijon and the other one is um, balsamic, balsamic vinegar. So, balsamic uh, mm -hmm. vinaigrette, okay. Yeah. Good. So two of them, they are good together. So um, sometimes I love it, usually, it usually, um, it go well together. So. Mm -hmm. That's so the, 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 the dressing, we use a store-bought, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, honey mustard, honey mustard and uh, balsamic vinaigrette. Yeah. 
So to compare, beautiful. So wow. to compare this dish, mm -hmm. we should you, we actually just use for like a 15 minutes. Because when you're cooking quinoa <laughs> in the in the meanwhile, you are cooking, you're preparing all different um, vegetables. Vegetables. And uh, the sweet, yeah, we can roast uh, way ahead of time, even mm -hmm. a day ahead of time, right? Yeah. yeah. I actually roasted this afternoon. This afternoon. Only okay. 15 minutes. 100 degree, 15 minutes. So, so you can the last minute this. assemble it together. It's a really quick. A okay. wonderful dish and it's so colorful. Yeah. Wow, I love this. I love this. Mm. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, okay now so let's now. check. It's 10 minutes. It's 10 minutes yes. already? Oh, yeah. wow. Let's turn off the okay. heat. Let's turn, turn off the heat. heat. Careful, and it's uh, hot. Okay. Your yes. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. the, Present it first, and maybe you can take this and uh, move the pot. It's hot. This is when she sits in the tunnel shop. So it's here on this side. Okay. Let's check your meatballs. I mean, okay. Not meatballs, sorry. Pearl ball. Meatless balls. Oh, wow. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, now it's cooked. After 10 minutes, only took 10 minutes to steam it. Right. Mm -hmm. You know why it's only 10 minutes to steam it? Yeah. Because they are all vegetables and right. they already actually cooked. Because mm -hmm. remember, I bought. Um, um, I brought frozen vegetables. Yeah. Um, so and actually the the rice, the sweet rice, mm -hmm. we soak it for thirty minutes already. Mm -hmm. So it's easier for them to cook together. Um, so in that way, it cooks faster. It cooks faster, fa faster, and it also saves your time. So only ten minutes. Can we have a this? Can we have a serving plate? Yeah. I think That's it's right here. Oh yeah, over there. Do you want to try it? Sure. Lots of This is our Great. dinner. Yeah, so this is, uh, we can eat it as is without any dipping sauce. Mm -hmm. Or if you like, you can serve with uh, your favorite dipping sauce with some soy sauce, vinegar, and a little bit touch of sugar, and some garlic if you uh, can like eat garlic, of course, because I love garlic and garlic and ginger. Okay, the recipe will be at the end of this program. Okay, we have the recipes for you. So let's try it. Okay. Okay, do I need a four? Yes. And can I cut one to show? Oh yeah, we can cut one okay. to show our audience. Mm -hmm.
Ooh, ooh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, you mm. can see how colorful it is. Yeah, and the texture. Yes. Okay, they look like this. It looks like a real, like a real meatball. Mmm, it smells so good. That uh, shiitake mushrooms and beyond meat and tofu, very, very healthy. Very, very good. It's really good. I'll try a little bit of dipping sauce. Would you like mm -hmm. to try the sauce? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Dipping sauce is actually better to bring up the taste yeah. mm -hmm. of all the ingredients. But it mm -hmm. depends. Some children like to eat a lighter flavor, so they don't need any sauce. Mm -hmm. But the adults, they're more sophisticated. <laughs> All right. Dipping sauce. Thank you for watching. Wait, wait a minute. Oh. You have to try the salad. Oh, we have to try the salad. That's mm -hmm. right. Let's um, try the salad. I will just use my bowl. Okay. My plate. This uh, pearl balls. Serve it hot or room temperature is good too, okay? You need a fork? Mm -hmm. I need a fork. I just taste right now. Yeah, taste. Oh, okay. A little bit. Oh, don't need that much. We'll taste. Oh, okay. Tasty. No, 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 just taste. No. Okay. Let me do it pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what kind of sauce you want to have? Okay. okay. I think I will try mm -hmm. Dijon mustard today. Yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah, that's my favorite. Okay. Wow, so good. How do you like it? The avocado melts in my mouth, and the dressing goes so well with the avocado. That's why I like Try it. the yam. Did you last year? Wow. Very, very good. Let me teach Yes. The yam is just cooked, roasted, just right. Mm -hmm. Soft, substantial. Crispy. So you don't want to overcook. The red pepper and um, kale. How do you like it? Oh, wow. <laughs> this is like heaven. Very good. All right. Now you got all kinds of texture in here. That's so, so good. So healthy. Like so healthy. Mm. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you for inviting me. Mm. It's a pleasure. I hope you come back okay. more often. I will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. We wish you eat well and stay healthy. Many blessings. Thank you. Thank you.